Disturbing new evidence coming to light in the Lori Vallow Daybell trial today. The lead investigator took the stand, but court was interrupted when Lori Vallow Daybell apparently wanted to leave her own trial. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher was there. She's live in Boise, Idaho to explain the twist in proceedings. Lauren? Yeah, Dini, things took a turn this afternoon unexpectedly. Things started out this morning with Lori acting lively. She was laughing. Then this afternoon, it turned. She was upset. She was crying. This was right when the lead investigator was going to explain and show some pretty hard to look at photos of discovering JJ and Tylee's remains. Walking in, Larry Woodcock knew what was coming. It's going to be a hard day, I think. The lead investigator, Detective Ray Hermosillo, taking the stand and going through pictures from the search warrants they served, including on Lori's townhome, where they found full-body PPE Tyvek suits and guns and ammunition to Chad Daybell's property, including how they discovered J.J. and Tylee showing pictures of the burial sites. But as soon as court resumed from lunch, the prosecution, ready to show detailed photos of Tylee's burnt remains, and JJ's autopsy, Lori walked back in, hunched with her arms crossed, face red, eyes watery, and sniffling. The defense interrupted court to ask for a break. 30 minutes later, Jim Archibald asking as Lori was crying, my client wishes to waive her presence at the testimony for the remainder of the day. It was emotional this morning. She indicated to us that she did not wish to attend this afternoon. A rare occurrence, says KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis. This is really unusual. It's not something we see very often where a defendant asks to be released from the proceedings and the trial's still going. A lot of people thought she wanted to, to stop the trial or, or do something else, but she just wanted to be excused from the trial. Judge Boyce ruled Lori needed to stay in court. So she sat there looking down while Detective Hermosillo went through the horrific details and photos of J.J. and Tylee's condition. And Larry Woodcock, knowing just how hard today would be, broke down, quietly sobbing. Yeah, and Scordis uh, saying, you know, that we haven't seen this side of Lori before. It is hard to know if that means that she's understanding the gravity of the situation or what may have been going on. Now, tomorrow, uh, the cross-examination of Detective Hermosillo will continue before the next witness takes the stand. We are still waiting on court audio from today. Live in Boise, Idaho, Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. Interesting developments. Lauren, thanks for the update.